Everyone's talking about MCP servers, but no one's showing you how to make money. That's why in today's video, I'm going to show you XPack. XPack is a free open source tool that you can use to build your own MCP marketplace or just like me, for example, here I have Luke J. Burns content parser. All I had to do was paste in my website and it automatically created this MCP server that I can use the MCP configuration here from this homepage, which is all mine. You can see here, look.xpack.host. All I have to do is sign up, get the authentication key and boom, I can use it. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to actually do this. This took me like two minutes to make. And then I'm also going to show you how you can go on to GitHub. You can actually run the open source version on your own computer as well. Now, they teach you how to do it on here with one line. This works perfect for Linux, but I'm on Mac and it doesn't work as well. I have a whole script here that we can use. Instead, this will be linked in the description. You can just copy it in, paste it, boom, you're ready to go. And then before you know it, you'll have your own server up and running. So let's get into the video. First things first, to get this for yourself, what you have to do is go over to xpack.ai. Now, if you go into MCP servers, you can see there's a bunch here. You can even search for different ones, right? But to make your own one, you just host and sell MCP completely for free. Click on there. I'll just sign in because I've already got an account. And from here, we now have our homepage. Now, this is my actual landing page or my website, basically, where I'm hosting my MCP servers. And I have two different ones here. I have my YouTube channel and my content puzzle. So that's my newsletter and my website. I'll show you how to do that in a second. But just a brief overview here, analytics. You have your MCP servers. So these are the two that I have. We have different users that you have signed up. So I have me signed up here. And then the amount of revenue you've made in here as well. And then under settings, this is where we can actually go and update stuff like the branding, title and description, metadata, domains even as well. So you have a custom domain. So you could be like looksmcp.ai or whatever. You can change your theme as well. So you can see mine was this creative theme like this. I can change that here to the default one or any of these. Now this I can do all on here, but I can also run it on my own computer or my own virtual network, for example, like DigitalOcean droplets or something. And boom, you can have that all running as your own marketplace. Now to actually make money from this, we have payments. So you can enable Stripe payment and we're going to actually create our own. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. So if we come back to the admin console and go to MCP, from here, you just click create MCP and either we can get an open API format. So like an MCP server you've already coded and we can bring that in here. Or what we can do is we can just paste in a website and it will then scrape that website. So if you click from website, you literally just put in the name of it. So for me, it was lookjbun.com, click generate and boom, it goes away and just crawls that website and gets all the information from it. That's how I made these ones here. So once you have that ready, I'll open this up. You can see here, it will be like this. So you have your server ID, so you can change this if you want. Server name, so this is the name, description, which website it's scraped. Then we have tools management. So these are all the different tools that's created for our MCP server. Now, the reason it creates all these is because say, for example, my AI agent wants to know something from a YouTube video or from a newsletter or from a specific tutorial or learning platforms that I talk about. It can go and use these MCP servers to actually get that information. And then here we have our detailed description. You can update this to be as detailed, as verbose as you want. Now, to make money from this, we have pricing up here. So we have free, so this is what mine is right now, completely free, but you can go to per call or per million tokens. So do, for instance, per call, we can change how much we want it to be. Per million tokens, we can change how much we want it to be as well. And that's how we can actually make money through this. So you've created your MCP server. Maybe you've changed the pricing so that it's not free. Free, sometimes you'd use that initially to gain some traction. But if you just want to go out the gate making money, you can change that to paid. But to actually use this now, so we head on over to look.xpack.host. The way that I'd gotten there originally is if we just go back to xpack.ai. And then from here, we can go to MCP servers. And then there's mine. And then we can actually get the MCP configuration and it opens this up like this. So to actually use these tools within your say coding environment or wherever you're using MCP servers, any 10 agents maybe, we have this configuration here. So to get this AI look authentication key, which is what you need here, you have to sign up to get it. So up at the top here, you can go to sign in or get started and just make like a dummy account so you can test this out. I'm gonna go to sign in and automatically it's signed in here with my business contact email, which is my test one and this is it here so from this you can as a user if you want to test it you could add some money 
through Stripe if you're just doing it free, which I'm doing just to test it. We have here authentication key. So you need to create a new one of these. I'm just gonna call my test like I have here. And then I'll copy that. Now from here, this would be authentication key that goes in the configuration here. If you want to test out this configuration, what we can do is we can then copy this configuration here, head on over to something like VS Code, right? Which is a code editor. And inside VS Code, I often use row code, which is what you can see here, row code. Row code, it is like, they say, what is it? Let's check here. They say a whole dev team of AI agents in your editor. Basically, it's like cursor. It's like having chat GPT inside your code editor. To install it, just go to extensions, marketplace, row code, and install it. Now, if you want to use MCP servers on row codes, you can go to MCP servers, and then da -da 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 -da, inside here, you see I have mine. To add yours in, just go to like edit global or project MCP, paste it in here, and then when you change your auth key, with the auth key that you get in your dashboard here to actually test it out. And then that's how you test it out. If you want to do this whole thing locally, so you want to run this, but instead of on look.xpack.host, you want to host it on your own virtual private network, so like DigitalOcean or something, or on your own PC, then we can do that as well. So here we have XPack's open source code on GitHub, right? To run it here, we can just run this single line of code in Terminal if you're on Linux. I am not on Linux, I am on Mac. And so instead, for Mac, the way to do it, all the information is here. I'm just gonna tell you more about it. But if we go down to deploy, we have this um, Docker Compose deployment. So Docker essentially being a way to containerize an app. It means that apps can be standardized on how they're deployed across different computers, basically. So it stops people having this problem where they say, it works on my machine. Because if you have Docker, it will always run. And then the build here is how you can actually build this from the GitHub repo itself. But anyway, Instead of going through all of this, I'm gonna give you a script that you can run instead. So if you're on Linux or anything, you can run that. You probably need to install Docker first. But what we're gonna do is Claude here, we have this script basically runs a bunch of the different commands that we can find da -da 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 -da, inside this deployment here. So instead of changing, copy and pasting these one at a time, instead we can copy this entire code block, copy, and then we'll save that as a file. And then to run it, we can do this here, which is just basically the same command as they had. Now, once it's running and you've already downloaded Docker, you will then have Docker running just like this. So we have XPack fresh here, and then here's Docker running. And I'm just doing this instead of having to show you doing it, because if you actually run through the script, it can take like five to 10 minutes to actually run um, and get up and running fully. But once it's running, we then come over and you can see here it's running on localhost 3000. If we click on that, boom, it should open up our locally hosted MCP marketplace. And there you go, boom. And if we go to get started from here, you can sign in, right? Or if we go to forward slash admin, it's just a default admin that we have. So it's admin and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the password. And once you're in here, you can then change stuff as if you were in the cloud version. It's literally, it's so simple to host, it's crazy. Now, something I was mentioning earlier, the way to do it for Stripe configuration. So to actually make get paid basically, right? Inside settings, if we go to Stripe here, the way to actually get your secret key and webhook for payment, if you just go to Stripe, and set up, if you don't already have an account, set one up. Then you just go to developers down the bottom and then API keys here, and you just create a secret key. And that's pretty much you. You just have this uh, key and secret key that you can use on the cloud version. But for the self-hosted version, you want to use webhooks. So essentially what you want is you want this link that you can hit instead of an API key. And so you can get that from here as well. So just dashboard.shake.com, then you're going to this developers and webhook. It's that simple. So if you want to have an MCP server just like this, or you want to start building a marketplace for other people's MCP servers, you'll find the link, first link in the description below to go and get started with XPack today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.